Hey guys, I'm Andy and uh, I just came out here to move my tractor around and uh, I figured I might give you a review. I've had this thing for, uh, I got it in August, so I guess about six months or so. And uh, I've put about 100 and, uh, 102, 103 hours on it. Got it with 62 hours, got about 165 on there right now. And uh, I'll walk around and I'll tell you what I... Uh, what I think about this tractor, what I like, what I don't like, and uh, you know, everything between. So one of the things I liked about this tractor when I got it was the price. Uh, it was used, so it was probably, I don't know, about $5,000 cheaper or so than a new model. But with 62 hours on it, they let me take it away and uh, gave me financing like it was a new model so worked out pretty good um some things i like is uh it's compact utility tractor so it is that it's a small footprint it uh it's strong it's only got a 25 horse motor but the hydrostatic transmission it is in it is uh really strong um it's got the third function hydraulic and I was going to start it up and show you all this stuff, but of course it starts raining today when I get out of my truck. Uh, got the quick attach bucket, and I have a grapple down further on the property. I got a set of forks on there right now. Um, you know, I've been using it to clear our property out, and uh, it, it really hasn't let me down yet. I've had a couple of small issues, uh, no no real problems of the tractors, more stupidity on my part, uh, running over small trees and stuff. I've got caught up in uh, tree stumps and some other stuff, and I have ripped off probably three hydraulic lines so far. Had to run up Napa, get new ones made up real quick. Always fun on a on a Saturday or Sunday when I'm out here running this thing. Uh, a couple of things about this tractor. It, it is it's pretty, pretty good on fuel, but it is tippy with this front end loader. You really gotta have a counterweight. Uh, I have a box blade on mine right now, uh, but I have a counter counterweight down in the woods and uh, I'm not gonna walk down there since it's raining. Um, but when you're picking up loads, if you don't have a counterbalance on there, you are definitely gonna notice. I mean, it, it wants to tip forward pretty bad. And uh, these hydraulic lines right here, they're to run across the framing all the way around. You can see I have tie wraps HVAC tie wraps on them and that is because with clearing brush I have caught them on almost everything on my property as you can imagine there's the joystick and that's the third function the third valve function right there but uh, John Deere really should have considered that they should have done their research and a little bit more homework I know when I looked at the Kubotas, those were protected a little bit more, but I'm not a fan of Kubota, and I don't like their treadle pedal. So this is why I got this. Um, one of the uh, other things that I've had a problem with is uh, whoever added the, the third valve before me kind of did some jack leg wiring, and of course I've tore it out when I caught it on some brush. So. You know, it is it is what it is when you're doing what we're doing out here with this tractor. So, you've got the hydrostatic pedals. This is your, your hydraulic lift, which can lift, I don't know, like 1,800 pounds or so. Emergency brake, your gear shift, high-low neutral. Throttle up there. And then... This is your four-wheel drive, engage, disengage, and this is a foot brake, but it also locks your differential. 
So, uh, yeah, it's been a bit so far. Um, I'm going to walk down here. I'm trying to make this video quick so I can get out of the rain. But I'm walking down here right now, and I'll show you what we've been clearing with it. All these logs. Now, and all this brush. And there. All those stumps. Now, this isn't all of it. I've already done one haul off. But this is, uh, this is everything we've done. I've done every bit of work out there with that green tractor and a 305 that I rent from Cat Dealer that we uh, rent all our company's equipment from. And then, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a old knockoff Massey Ferguson. Oh, there's my counterbalance right there. You can see it. That's a proper weight box, but I need the tool. Uh, this whole mound of dirt right here that I've that I've created, I did it with that front end loader. Uh, my wife came and helped me, you know, run the excavator or uh, run the tractor while I did the excavator. Um, but yeah, there my there are the grapple forks for it. I mean the grapple, the brush grapple. It's got the quick attach as well. And I've got my lines coupled together just to keep crap out of there. The hydraulic on it is pretty strong. You gotta watch out with what you're doing because uh, it will snap small brush and actually some small trees. I've knocked down everything from uh i mean tiny trees to probably up to 10 inch in diameter i won't lie you gotta work for those 10 inch ones uh i'd say six and under come down relatively easy but like the front end loader with these logs we have it easily carries all these right here that's about uh i mean like uh, this 24 inch one that's like 10 feet long. That one you probably have to carry by itself. Uh, you can probably carry this one and possibly that one without it getting too out of balance. Some of these lo smaller logs, like these 12 inches right here, those, uh, those you, can, you can pick up two or three of those if you're counting them enough to get them all in the the grapple at the same time but overall it's been a good tractor uh john deere was good to work with uh my stepdad worked with him many many years ago so i knew some people to go talk to but uh they didn't have many tractors there they just had this one and since they would do financing it kept me from having to come out of pocket with a bunch of money so i went ahead and went ahead and bought it up but uh, it is a John Deere 3025, and it has a 300E, a 300E loader. And then I've purchased the bucket for it, and the forks, and the uh, and that counterbalance down there in the woods, and then. Uh, that box blade was something I had previously bought. But um, I'd say overall, small but mighty. It really is. Um, when I first got it, I was trying to do some stuff with it. I thought I'd made a mistake going with the 25 horse and the, the 3 series. But uh, after learning how to operate this machine, it operates a little, a little differently than a than a larger one would that I'd be used to. So, uh, you know, do your research. You know, go talk to some folks, but that's my opinion on it. Uh, like and subscribe. Have a good night.